Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel. Thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we're discussing an old friend, a model that I've owned in the past and which I regard to be the absolute pinnacle of Shigeru Lecoult Reverso development. This, flipped over to its more becoming facet, is the Shigeru Lecoult Reverso Platinum II. A 2003 series of 500 pieces. I have searched far and wide and never seen a case number higher than 296, so I strongly suspect that less than 300 of the original intended 500 were actually made. It is a platinum watch in the Reverso Grand Tie case, which is to say it is very wearable on a smaller wrist like mine. The watch is slim, 9.4 millimeters thick with a rounded flank, so it easily slides underneath a dress cuff. It's compact across the wrist at 42.2 millimeters, and from 9 to 3, the watch is a slim 26 millimeters, meaning it's basically a long and narrow, close to ideal golden rectangle. This being one of the closest aspect ratios to the famed 1 to 1.618 golden rectangle. The Grand Tie case comes closest, and that's before we get into any of the virtues of the timepiece itself. Now you can see this watch entirely in platinum. Despite its relatively minimal presence on the wrist, it's a mighty little thing. It feels incredibly heavy, all of platinum with a solid gold movement, solid gold dial. You see there's a handsome JLC, dark navy blue, minimally bolstered, large rectangular scale, matte finished, monotone stitch, and actually sheer edged strap, so you can see it actually shows the layers of construction and profile, but it's matched to a full platinum clasp, and this is something JLC stopped doing with platinum watches after 2005. In 2006, this watch would have featured a white gold clasp. This was the end of the line for platinum JLC watches with full platinum clasps, and you can see it's beautifully finished frosted on the inside and polished on the outside, and it adds serious heft to the watch, as well as insurance against droppage while donning or removing. Let's move out a little bit and appreciate the case band. Art Deco at its best, the original Reverso from 1931, six years into what's officially the Art Deco era. You can see it's actually rounded and vaulted in profile with a conical profile to its lugs with a little bit of a squared off end. If you just look at these things online, you'd think they were perfect rectangles and sharp enough to draw blood, but they're actually a beautiful combination of straight lines lines and absolutely lurid curves. This watch is sensational and scintillating. Now note the gadrons across the case. All reversos feature that tension between the vertical sweep of the case and crystal and dial and the horizontal cut of the gadron. What makes this watch special is that they were actually hand engraved to arc around the tourbillon on the case back. So this is a hand engraved watch. It's also a hand painted watch, miniature painting. The numerals on the dial side are actually applied by hand to create these wonderful Art Nouveau style Arabic numerals using a sterling silver based paint. The dial itself is ruthenium coated, but the dial base is made of 18 karat white gold. The hands at center, broadsword and blued. You can see just underneath there's a coaxial power reserve, and you can count on three fingers how many coaxial power reserves you're going to see, wherein the power reserve indicator is actually along the same axis as the hands at center. Applique white gold JL logo at 12 o'clock, turn it all over. This is where things start to get really fun. The front is fun, the back is better. Now, you can see the tourbillon in action. A few things to take note. First, the entire set of bridges and plates rendered in 18 karat white gold, entirely hand decorated. This is JLC finish at at its peak. You will not find a more finely finished watch in JL's collection past or present, and you will not find a higher level of finish. You can see the bridge at center, as well as the tourbillon bridge, have been black polished with beveled edges. You have blued screws, kiln-fired blue, not chemically dyed. You have Cote de Soleil radiating out from an imaginary centering point right at the tourbillon staff, and you can see that it is both a free-sprung tourbillon and employing a Breguet overcoil hairspring for excellent timekeeping in a position. If you want a modern tourbillon that keeps time superbly and cancels out gravity, it has to be a six-position adjusted tourbillon, which this one is, and it needs an overcoil. This watch has both. It beats way at 21,600 vibrations per hour, fully wound. It has a 45-hour power reserve, and it pivots on 25 joules. Now, you can see there are engravings in the white gold bridges. Every engraving 
writing has been executed by hand and then filled with blue ink, which is a gorgeous way to finish off a movement that simply overwhelms. A watch that's hand finished, hand painted, and yes, even hand engraved. It's a wonderful piece with a perfect size and a glorious similarity to a golden rectangle right on your wrist. The JLC Reverso Platinum II. See it and live the dream. A dream I know well and to which I can attest and encourage you. On the watch box.